It's your girl, Lady Lily, and I'm coming back with a final video. I said I'll come back with another video. Come on, cars. Like, for real, for real. Y'all got me out here in the middle of the street. I said I will come back on to do a final video for um, 2023. Um, today is December 30th. And I'm out and about running errands. I just um, filled up my tank, tossed out the trash in my car, and I am en route to go to the store to pick up um, some groceries um, and some odds and ends as we get ready to welcome 2024 um, and I go back to work. Um, so, with this video, this is a car talk. So, been thinking, um, been reading a lot of different things and stuff, and they were saying like 2023 was really the year of realizing record um, growth, um, reckoning, realizing, and uh, restoring, rebuilding, refreshing, renewing. Um, and then 2024 is supposed to be the year of growth and success and prosperity and, you know, all those things. Although I always had these things, I always feel like even years, I don't know, it's something about, I feel like even years is more productive than I years. Because I'm like, it's a green light. What the? heck are you doing um even years i always felt were for me are more productive years than odd years i know that sounds like weird but i don't know i always just felt some about even years you know 10 i feel like are more productive bless i don't know just some about even maybe because i was born on an even year 1980 it's some about you know even years i always feel like even years be more productive and odd years be odd. <laughs> so anyway, my my word for this year was flourish. That's what I thought. But really it was a year of growth and understanding. Um, understanding that you can't do it all. Understanding that um, life with life, understanding situations change, people change, circumstances change. Um, and being brought to the truth, you know, being held accountable. And, um, you know, some things, I felt like fall was falling. <laughs> Uh, that's how I would describe fall. And um, my dad took ill. I had some health concerns. And I don't know. I just feel like things just went left uh, when it came down to fall. I don't know. I just feel like some things. There were some good times and some good moments. I think some, you know, some things went left, you know. Not saying 2023, we had some positive um, outcome. Some good things came. So I don't want to, you know, sound like no Debbie Downer. There were some good things that took place in 2023. But, you know, you have to, I think this is just really, you know, about growth and, and rebuilding. It's a rebuilding or re restoration um, type. So maybe the word for 2023 maybe been restoration. Maybe. Um, but yeah, it just made me open my eyes up. And why are these people not turning? Ain't nobody turned and did nothing. And the light's gonna change, but of course, the light's gonna change by the time I got up there yeah, and fussing. Let me stop fussing. Not, do not fuss. Anyway, um, so I think it was really a rebuilding year. Re restoration, rebuilding. Um, the most important thing I think I realize is that two things. I can't do it all. I can't do it all. And just because you have space 
Um, and when I say space on your schedule, space on your calendar, that don't mean you, you got to pack it up. And that don't mean, you know, you say yes to everything. It doesn't mean, you know, don't let people put a guilt trip on you. Um, being a leader in leadership roles, you know, everybody just assume that you could do everything and anything at all times. And it's just like, no, like, no, I don't want to pack on more things. I don't want to overcommit myself. And I think that that's what happened in 2023. I, I overcommit on my job. I signed up to be in, you know, I'm a chair of our diversity inclusion group. I'm on like a bunch of different committees. And I just felt like I started teaching. And I mean, even looking at my, and I mean, our workload is enough. You know, all this other stuff is extra. I mean, you're not obligated, but it's extra. But I was just like, okay, I signed up for too much stuff at work. And then when you look at outside work, you got Pan Hill and all this stuff. And it's just like, okay, I think I'm not overcommitted to myself. Cause, so that's, um, that's something I did realize. Like, I definitely took on too much and overcommitted myself. Um, because I feel like, okay, I got the free time. got this. Go, 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 go. Before that light change. Because this turn and signal here is a weird turn. And that turn and signal don't stay on too long. So, um, you know, taking on too much. Um, and not realizing until you get into the, to the heart of it. So that was one thing. And then another thing is you got to pay attention to your health. Um, we are not made of steel. Rest is important. Going to the doctor, um, following up with your um, doctor's visits. And I learned that from my dad because my dad took ill. Um, you know, he was on top of things, but then a lot of times he wasn't on top of things. And, you know, some things happen health-wise by not being on top of things. Um, so... You know, me just same, same thing. You know, I got a new primary care person, hadn't been to the doctor, was going to the dentist, was going to the gynecologist, but I wasn't going to the primary um, health, you know, doctor. You know, I, you know, the pandemic hit and, you know, I really, and I left jobs too. So that kind of threw me off for a primary care because. I used to get, you know, go through the doctors and stuff through my old job. And then I moved on to, you know, Purdue. I never like picked up a new doctor, went on to UIC. And, you know, it took me having high blood pressure, you know, to like, okay, I gotta get back on this and start, you know, doing my physicals and my checkups and, you know, so. And then I'd be like extremely tired and then I be yarning. I'm always yarning and tired. And, you know, like, why am I always yarning and, and tired? So that's another thing um, that I um, try to pay attention to my health. Not, and also pay attention to my mental health as well. Like, you know, taking a break, getting proper rest. Um, you know, trying to detach you know, from social media and stuff. Like, or take small breaks from social media. Am I gonna be able to get up closer? Probably. This is probably, I think everybody named mama at the grocery store right now. I think I'm gonna do my grocery shopping first, then I'll do Target. But anyway, um, you know, take a, better care of yourself. So, um, people are talking about goals, vision boards, prayer boards. Um, I think for me, like goals are just going to be, you know, how to live better, how to enhance and better improve how I move in life. I think I got a list of goals and I'm going to do my burning bowl letter and I'm going to do all that. But how to move better in 2024. Um, I'm really wanting to be in my soft girl era. How do I get into my soft girl era? Um, you know, how to make, you know, better decisions and 
finite finally i know i say this every year about the finances but you know got a little bad this year on some stuff got got a little bad so hopefully you know the new year turn around and you know i told god one of my things is I, you know put me in a position that i don't have to chase and work so hard i don't mind hard work but just you know can I not work so hard? Can I not be on the struggle bus? Can I not, you know, be, you know, always got to think what the next dollar going or whatnot. So that's where I'm at. So I, I embrace 2024. I um, am excited. I'm just going to go in and take it for, for what it's worth, you know. Each day is a new day. Um, putting systems in place, you know, for me personally, to stay organized and focused and, um, you know, continue to work hard. I'm getting ready to teach a new class in the new year. So I'm excited about that. Um, teaching diversity dialogue. So I'm excited about that opportunity because that's going to open me up open up my teaching repertoire. I'm not just teaching like intro to college. I'm really feeling like, you know, focus on the subject, which I hope, you know, I can continue to teach that course moving forward. Um, also trying to grow in the job as, you know, I, I got goals like, you know, I'm not trying to be at a job 16 years and not be promoted, not being placed in leadership. So I'm really, you know, working hard to show that I deserved you know, titles and roles. And, um, you know, I'm gonna let the chips fall where they may on that. But, you know, where I'm at now is huge. So there's opportunities to move around if necessary. But I want to bloom where I am planted. And that's the goal there. So I just want to pop in. What are your goals? What are you doing in 2024? Um, our, I know some people said they're not going to do a vision board. They're going to do a prayer prayer board. And I've been looking at those too. So it's a little bit different. It's the same thing, but mostly putting together a board of things, list of things that you want to pray on and focus on. So I might do a mixture of a vision board slash prayer board. Prayer board. So that'd be something I'd be working on like within this first week, doing my burning bowl letter doing my release letter, I all established my goals. Um, I'm putting together a finance binder um, as well as a life binder to keep me on track. So yeah. But yeah, I just want to pop in, do one last video for 2023. Hopefully you had a blessed Christmas. Hopefully you have an amazing um, new year and check back with me in the new year for more videos, hopefully more content. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace and be blessed.